Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to connect or add a Wi-Fi network on your Minecraft slash Pycroft device. So um, I said Pycroft because Pycroft is the special Minecraft image that they have for the Raspberry Pi. Now that's what I have. So this can work for Minecraft and Pycroft, which basically is the same. So if you have Minecraft on your Raspberry Pi, you must have a keyboard connected or wireless keyboard in my case. So um, we are now going to type in a sudo command, which will allow us to access the WPA supplicant file, which stores the Wi-Fi information. So to access that, hold CTRL and C on your keyboard and then you would get to this there where you will have to type in the command so you type in sudo nano sudo nano uh, etc wps applicant so you just have to type this in now i'll have that in the description so you sit down here just type that in and um, when you have that typed in press enter and now you would see the different wi-fi that you have saved so if you want to add in a special network because what I notice is that um, when you have to manually add a Wi-Fi network um, sorry when you have to automatically add a Wi-Fi network on Minecraft it, it has an issue um, where it just keeps on loading and loading and loading and it basically doesn't do anything so um, to, to a solution for that is to just manually add your Wi-Fi Okay, so you see I have a few Wi-Fi added already. Okay, so I have a Wi-Fi added already, but um, you guys would want to add a new one. So I will be showing you how to do that. So to add a new Wi-Fi, you press enter twice. That's So you can use your um, arrows on the keyboard to navigate and you'd see the cursor going down. So bring the cursor underneath this angle bracket and press enter twice. Uh, sorry bring it back up and go in front of it like this and press enter twice now we're going to put you're going to put in a network equals and a curved bracket and enter and then a tabulation and type in ssid which would be the name of the network equals and um, this also helps if you have a hidden network too so if you are not broadcasting the name of your wi-fi network then this will help and then the name of your network so i'll just put sample because i'm just showing you an example of how to do it so in this here sample that's where you put the name of your network so for example sami you can put in the name of your network and close brackets enter tab psk which would be the password equal and uh, you put in your quotations uh, one two three four five six seven eight and close quotation now after putting in your close quotation you press enter and then you put in another angled bracket to end okay now after that you press ctrl x to exit and y to save and then press enter and then it would be saved now after you want to rebu reboot to ensure that the changes apply so to reboot you simply type sudo reboot now So it will reboot and then upon boot up you will uh, now successfully connect to your Wi-Fi network. So if it was giving you a message about um, connecting to Wi-Fi network Mycroft then you won't hear that message again because probably most probably it would have already connected to your Wi-Fi network. So don't worry about that.
and um, now if you were to get a message saying about it could not stop the Wi-Fi hardware then that is probably because you have something typed in wrong in the WPA supplicant so most of the time you just have to ensure that after you type in your Wi-Fi information you put in the angle brackets to end okay so um, also one more thing so, so that you can get to your knowledge if you notice a while ago you saw a lightning bolt on the side of my screen this shows that there is an under voltage so um, most of the time when you get that under voltage message that means that uh, the power the ac adapter that you are using it doesn't have the recommended voltage so they recommend about uh, two uh two volts and above so um you should try that um, i will put all that down in the description so you see that's the name of the so you can see that's the sound you'd get for you to connect to the wi-fi name mycroft so you shouldn't hear that sound once you put in your wi-fi network all right so i will end here and um, if you have any questions put it down in the description and i will answer your questions and i'll see you in another video thank you for watching the video if you like the video share the video uh, hit that thumbs up and for more exciting helpful informative content subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching